everybody welcome back to another monday scale news update if you're not familiar with the show we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of rc over the last week this week we have a handful of topics but i wanted to do something a little bit different and go over some small business releases you know i've got a huge list of bookmarks that i go through and check if these companies have released anything new but there's also a ton of smaller companies that are just harder to keep up with and and unless i just see them pop up in front of me on facebook or something like that i really just don't see them so this week i posted up on facebook and instagram saying hey if one of your favorite small businesses released something new this week post it up and I was even a little bit lenient if it wasn't within the last week or so but the response was great and I got a bunch of people submitting things from their favorite small businesses and we're going to cover a bunch of those this week as quickly as we can as well but first let's jump into our regular topics over this last week Axial posted a huge price drop in a number of their kits between 30 and 50 dollars depending on which model you're looking at both kits and ready to runs. You can save up to $50 on some SCX-10s and you can save around 30 bucks on things like a deadbolt. So you can pick up that deadbolt now for 269. Now, when you look at that 269 for a ready to run deadbolt versus their brand new, just released raw builders kit for 199, that's, it's only $70 separating those two items now. Granted that Raw Builders Kit and the Deadbolt both have a number of different parts, but, but they're just really close together now and it may swing people to just go ahead and pick up the Ready to Run versus that brand new product they just released. But you can save money on everything from bombers and bomber kits, SCX-10s, Yetis, there's a ton of stuff on there. If you're looking to pick up an Axial, a pretty good time with these new price drops. You will have to look into exactly how you'll have to redeem that price drop from whatever company you're buying it on because there is a difference between coupon codes and buying direct from Tower Hobbies versus maybe what you can use on an online source. So go check that out, see if there's any of them that interest you. HPI released a new wheel well set for their venture platform. Just a nice set of front and rear wheel wells that run front to back one piece. Just a simple Lexan piece, but it obviously helps fill up any of those gaps so you can't see through it. it gives it a little bit more of a scale look. Any of you venture fans, go check those out. So now let's jump into some of these small business ones. We're gonna go over a handful of products that people posted up for me to go take a look at. We're just gonna do a quick overview on as many of them as I can. Try and show you guys as many of these smaller businesses that you may not have seen before. Some of them I've covered products from them in the past, but some of them are completely new to the scale news. PowerShift RC this week released a new scale garage kit. Now these are laser cut pieces of wood that you can buy, they come flat and you assemble them into a pretty good looking little scale garage kit. Full garage kit looks like it starts about 99 bucks, but there's also a ton of little accessories you can buy, workbenches and welding tables, support pillars, and also add-on kits to expand to a larger scale garage as well. This is one of the more affordable ways that I've seen if you're really looking to start your own scale garage setup. This gives you a good base to start painting and detailing out. This just gives you a solid base for a diorama if that's something you're after. As always, I'll put a link to this product in the description below, go check him out. Next, JS Scale had a big release this last weekend with their Range Rover Classic hard body set. Really good looking body, 12.3 inch wheelbase, tons of detail, and a pretty decent price. If any of you guys are looking for a you know outside the box new style hard body, this one, definitely cool. I'm not like a huge Range Rover fan, but this one is just pretty appealing. So I'll link you to that product in the description below. Go check it out. Looks like you can get them on pre-order right now, and I think that they'll be shipping fairly soon. UC Fab is not a name that you're probably unfamiliar with if you're into some of the more custom side of things, but he is offering some products now that are more available than anything he's really previously offered. And those are some bumper slider sets, as well as some bolt-on tube work that works with something like the Proline Bronco body or the Axial Deadbolt body. If you're interested in these, there is still a list to get on, but you can email them. I'll link to their Facebook page where you can find all the information on how to email them, as well as prices and things like that. I own a number of UC Fab products, obviously, and I've got one of these new cages coming also for an upcoming project. So go check them out. Definitely nice products. While this one isn't RC related, it kind of comes from RC, at least from me. Sorta Fast Clothing is a company owned by a friend of mine named Andy. He comes out with new shirt designs every Friday. Got a ton of pretty good ones. Clever, funny, you know, kitschy type stuff. 
There's a ton of good looking stuff there. Go browse through it. I am one that always needs just one more t-shirt. So go check his site out. Some pretty good looking shirts. Holmes Hobbies is one of the names that most of us are familiar with in RC crawling, but it still fits into this category. Holmes is a small shop out of Columbia, Missouri. He's been a friend of mine for a really long time visited his shop countless number of times. He just released a new speed of his revolver motor in a 1000 KV option. If you've never ran one of these revolvers or been around one, they've got a really unique sound and they have a really unique feel. Super crazy low end torque. I've used them in some specific projects where I didn't have enough gear reduction and I just needed to find the right size motor. They package really well and they've got tons and tons of power. And they have a really distinct whine to them. Go check those out. He also did an update to his Trailmaster motors with a new, better looking can. These are a two pole motor, but they're kind of specifically built for crawling. So you can go check out both of those products. I'll link to his website again in the description below. Scalar Fab is a company I've used a lot in the past, and they just recently announced that they're working on trail armor for the SG4C Demon from Cross RC, the HPI Venture, and they came up with some very specific trail armor for the Vanquish Ripper project any of those are in your wheelhouse, go check out their page in the description below. For those of you who are looking for some very scale accurate style suspension, go check out Mr. Kama D. He's coming out with some front suspension for Jeep builds that have a separate coil and shock setup, just like the real ones do. Definitely a cool little deal. This is a 3D printed front suspension setup. You can check out his information. I'll link to that in the description below. Jasper Hobbies is one that you probably haven't seen on the news before, but you've seen it maybe in some of my previous videos. They have some rotational molded parts trays, just a nice stiff, you know, chemical resistant tray that have cubbies molded in it for parts, things like that. They're coming out with some new sizes over the next couple of months, but if you've never seen any of their other ones, they've got trays for, you know, a full vehicle versus some other small parts trays and everything in between. You can go check them out. I'll link to their Facebook page in the description below. Toyzuki is releasing a front motor mount setup for the Vanquish VS410. This takes your motor and moves it all the way to the very front of the chassis, just behind the servo, keeps the motor super low. It mounts your spur gear right up there in the front, and then you run a drive shaft from your spur gear output back to your regular transmission in the center of the vehicle. Moves everything forward, allows you a lot of room in the center of the chassis in case you're wanting to do something like a full depth interior. If you want to change out the transmission to something even more low profile, it gives you even more room then. And also just moves your weight bias forward and keeps it very low. I've used some Toyzuki products in the past and the Deadbolt budget build way back, but if you're looking for something to kind of change up either an SCX-10 or SCX-10-2, anything like that, go check out his page again linked in the description below. But with that guys, that's going to do it for this week's scale news update. And I'm always willing to throw in the small business stuff. It's just sometimes hard for me to see. So if one of your favorite companies releases something over the last week, absolutely find a way to let me know about it. I'm always looking for more topics in the scale news and I'm always looking to help spread the word when I can. So with that guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you have an awesome week. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you on the next one.